My name is uh, Steve Migliori, uh, professionally known as Producer Mr. Mig, and this is my partner, Mike Rizzo, DJ, producer extraordinaire, and a and executive. What's up? We came up through the ranks and now have a 360 company and record label that is uh, globally growing very, very fast. Starting out in this business, I personally never imagined I mean, maybe I just imagined. Right. Between the two of us, I think we're 400 records, over 400 records in now. Over 50 number one billboard projects we've been a part of. You want to add anything? Think clearly. We're Italian, you know, <laughs> we like coffee. I like a lot of coffee. And we continue to produce records. We just finished, you know, Robin Thicke, Miley Cyrus, Cher. So we continue to cherry pick who we want to remix in the industry. Yeah. We have labels, by the way, that have been saying, we, we, we're not gonna touch the mastering on your record. We're leaving it as is. Yeah. Now I ha we have other uh, producers hitting us up saying, what are you using? What are you guys, how do you guys mix? How do you like, get it to cut like yeah. that, the bass cut? How does it cut and through so quality driven like that? So, I mean, yeah. we, we, want to, we want to tell them, but I don't know if I want to give them the give them I the wouldn't, uh, yeah, we, it's we, a fine we, line. We, we like, talk about we that, this, like, you know? do we tell them that? Because it is kind of our little thing now. In the last several years, there's been a few tools, but definitely on, on this front for the stereo enhancement and the, um, the bass control, um, New Gen is the company that has the products that we use. I came to Steve, uh, I, I think a couple of years ago, I said, we need to enhance the bass and whatever, more of the European quality, the way they're right. driving it on the electronic sound. Next thing I know, he sends me a couple of tracks. I'm like, how, how did you get it? That, I'm not telling you. <laughs> you know, again, that deep to cut like that. And uh, it was new gen. Yeah. Especially in the kind of music that we do, which is dance and pop, um, to get that low end tight with the kick and to make it clean where there's no distortion, um, you know, you could go and you could fiddle with your EQs and your compression and try to get it right. but. It's awesome to open up a plug-in like, uh, like the mono filter and just see where you're gonna cut really easily. Look at that. Yeah. And you know once you get there, it's like, okay, I'm set. If there's a, a base that's too wide, you just basically go right here, basically, no pun intended, um, go here <laughs> and just narrow it. I mean, it's that. showing you an image that your base is going from here to oh, here right. and it's just, you know, it's just really contouring things. So I love that. And A few years ago, I was at an AES convention. I was like, I can't believe that this company that I've never heard, I've never heard of New Gen until that time, out of the UK is making these really great sounding plugins that do exactly what they say they're gonna do. And they do it easily, very user friendly. The interface is a important deal right. for engineers when they're looking at a lot of plugins and they're trying to figure out what is gonna be the easiest way to go from A to Z, especially when you're doing five projects and a week on big artists. That. Yeah, staying simple. It's about it's... ease. Yeah. The wonderful thing about um, these products is that, let's say for instance, I go to the Stereoizer. Just the fact that it comes with all these presets is awesome. Now, a lot of people go, well, presets usually are just like, you know, a starting point, but I gotta be honest, I don't have to tweak a lot. There are presets in here that I've opened for our projects and they are, great to go. Right. They add just enough of the flavor. If there's a preset that I want that doesn't have color, that's there as well. So I know a lot of engineers that, you know, they just want the enhancement done, but they don't want it to be so noticeable that it's actually phasing the sound or changing the sound or coloring it the wrong way. Well, you have that choice and then you also have your choice of... Well, that must be me uh, that they're doing it right. They're doing it right. <laughs> Going in and tweaking. <laughs> yeah. But the controls are so easily laid out that I, you know, I personally never had to look at like a manual. Or... Simplicity is so important with the bulk and quality and quantity of work I should say we have. Absolutely. So there's two products um, out of the whole bunch that really are essential to us. And that is the stereoizer and that is the uh, mono filter. We're going we're gonna to try out software and we're going to keep the ones that work and we're going to drop the ones that don't. And I am like uh, a kid in a toy store with, with plugins and software. I personally go through and, and do trials of everything that's out there to see if I find the next inspiration, something that I can add to what we're doing. Yeah, you definitely do your homework. This is real world feedback. This is you know from a team that does you know over 50 records a year. And that's because we love what we do. We love what we do.